Hi YouTubers, Voluptuous8 here. Just a quick video. I missed recording on Friday, which is my normal day, so I just wanted to get this in real quick. Um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery August 19th, 2016. My high weight was 255. Surgery weight was 249. I went to my doctor last Thursday. Um, I'm about 10 weeks out, I think. I went to my doctor last Thursday. I was at 240, I mean 213. Uh, even uh, for a total of 42 pounds down, I am 5'5". I am 51 years old. Uh, I weighed myself on my regular Friday uh, and I was actually 211. So I'm fluctuating, I guess, between the 211 and the 213 spot. So I'm very, very happy. Uh, my goal for the end of the year is to be in Wonderland. So keeping my fingers crossed that that actually happens. Um, I, uh, it's been kind of busy this weekend. We, my husband had a DJ gig that we did. We did a wedding on Friday night. And during the week um, prior, there were a couple of late nights in there, and that's not our usual. We're eight, nine o'clock in bed kind of people because we get up so early for work. Uh, so it was kind of a tiring weekend uh, because of the wedding is why I missed recording on Friday. Uh, Sunday, when he had to bring all of his DJ equipment back into the house, I decided that we needed to rearrange the living room to accommodate it better so we did that as well and uh yeah <laughs> so pretty tiring day got some spring cleaning in the living room and everything done even though now it's fall so that's kind of where all that went and that's where my weekend went so that's that's the update there um there are there was one thing that i wanted to to say that has kind of stuck in my mind uh, and I don't think I've ever said it. And uh, people, I, I don't know. If, if you were like me, or if you are like me, I would pick and choose the bites on my plate when I was eating. And I always save the best bite, the best bite, my favorite bite for last. And when I was going through uh, support groups and stuff when I had my lap band, one of the things that was said to me that really stuck out and really, um, really has stuck with me now that I'm back in this type of journey is eat your best bite first. Uh, some people... You know, you still have the mindset that you can eat. And then what happens is you don't get that best bite. And if you're going to eat and you want to enjoy your food, um, eat that best bite first. Yeah, even if it's dessert, I guess. <laughs> uh, eat it first because chances are you're not going to get to it. Because how many of us put even three ounces on our plate or four ounces on our plate and we still have stuff left over. Uh, me, I mean, I'm still only a four or five bite person. So if I'm only going to eat four or five bites, I might as well make the best of it, right? So just a little hint, just a little piece of advice, especially for newbies that, you know, still have that mindset of, oh, I've got my plate of food. That's going to be the best bite of my food I'm gonna save that for last and then they don't get to it and then of course by the time you go back to it if you reheat it or whatever it's not necessarily your best bite anymore so anyways just some mindset eat your best bite first uh, so um, I, uh, I I think that it's funny uh, everybody you listen to on YouTube or just about everybody that you listen to on YouTube uh, talks about after they have their surgery and once they start getting fit everybody wants to do a 5k or a half marathon or a marathon everybody seems to want to get into the running mode me included don't 
don't get me wrong. I I am very much included into that. I have done three 5Ks since my surgery. They've been virtual 5Ks, but you still have to report your time and you still have to report your 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 uh, your uh, course and all of that. Uh, but I've done three of them. I'm doing a turkey trot on Thanksgiving morning with my surgeon's office. We. Of course, I will not be running. I am not a runner. I have no desire to run. I have no want or need to run. I will walk them. Uh, at, prior to my surgery, when I was going to the gym on a regular basis, I had my mile walking down to anywhere between a 15 and a 16 minute mile just walking. So uh, I will not be running. I, I'm not going to put that kind of pressure on my knees and, and my body. Uh, not to say that, you know, I, I just am not. Plus I don't, I'm, I don't have the lung capacity for it. And not that I can't build up my lung capacity, but I have no desire to run. But I, for whatever reason, from whatever warped sense of mind or whatever I don't know just like everybody else uh, I have that goal of doing 5k's which is really out there I think uh, but 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 <laughs> um, I'm going to do something a little bit different in my video this coming up weekend my husband's going to film and when I was heavy with my lap band, I had a personal trainer that worked with me very closely because I was extremely out of shape when I had my lap band, uh, well far gone compared to what I am now. And we did some exercises that anybody who is out of shape can do. And we all talk about going to the gym and we all talk about doing a number of different things but this weekend coming up I'm going to film doing these exercises with my husband's help of course um, and showing you what you can do at home to get yourself started on a path to health and fitness and it doesn't include um, doesn't include DVDs on the TV. It doesn't include going outside your home. Um, <clears throat> I know there are some people that have had this surgery that are are extremely large, and uh, moving around is very very difficult for them. And um, people who have been sedentary, uh, not moving at all for a long time it can be very difficult and very challenging to try to get into um the the uh whole fitness thing so i'm gonna do that video this weekend i hope you guys will like it uh, i think that it might give somebody who is going to have the surgery but not sure how they're going to get started or what they're going to do or all of that give them a little bit of hope on the fitness side of it because like me and like most all of you they hear oh my goal is a 5k oh my goal is a 5k and sometimes people's goal is just to get off the couch um, and I just want those people to know that there are things that you can do and um, I'm going to do an exercise video for, for you. Uh, so hopefully you guys will like that. Something a little bit different that's not on, uh, that's not typically on the, the YouTube, in the YouTube community for weight loss. Um, and of course, of course, of course, of course, the, the whole, the whole thing, um, about I'm not a doctor. I don't know if this, you need to check with your doctor, excuse me, see if your doctor agrees with it. You know, all those things are in place. I want all the disclaimers and any disclaimer that any professional has used, insert. So, <laughs> um, but 
And I'm also going to be making wonton pizza this weekend, so this coming up weekend, so I will be shooting that video as well. If we make it during the week, I will have my husband shoot that video while I'm making them so that you guys can see what wonton pizza, uh, how to make it. It's so simple. It, it's like, it'll be a snap of a video. So, uh, but I did promise that I would make that video, so I will do so. Um, just getting into the holiday spirit of Thanksgiving. Here are my holiday nails. Uh, I wanted to do something different. Orange is a little bit out of my comfort box, but I did it anyways. <laughs> um, but anyways, I said this was going to be a short video and I am four minutes away from having to leave my house for work and I still have to go make my water and my tea and all of that so that, uh, I can leave the house and head to work. Yuck. But anyways, you guys have a nice morning, nice night, nice day, nice evening, whenever it is that you're watching this video. I hope that you enjoy it. And again, two videos up and coming. Plus, I think I have another, um, another tag video with questions and stuff like that that I'll be doing. So love you guys. So thankful for y'all. And we will talk to you later. Bye.